So good afternoon. Um, I hope you're enjoying the uh, European Big Data Value Forum uh, event and uh, welcome to, to this session. My name is Didier Naves and I'm SVP Strategy and Alliance at, uh, at, at DAWEX. Um, before we start, let me just uh, introduce a little bit how we're going to uh, move forward in, in, in the session. So first of all, a few words about DAWEX. DAWEX, um, uh, creates the conditions for the smooth development of the data economy. Uh, we're providing a technology solution, data marketplace, data exchange, platform technology that facilitates uh, the, the exchange of data between uh, many uh, organizations, uh, whether uh, small, large, uh, private, public, uh, and across uh, various geographies. But, Today, the, the focus uh, will be uh, on um, one, specific, um, one specific subject. And I will um, therefore um, take a little focus on uh, what we're going to, to speak about. And the, the theme today is uh, that uh, data exchange uh, transform a global ecosystem, and in particular, in two industries that uh, we know very well because they are important in our life. Uh, it's uh, agriculture and it's food. And uh, so, um, as you know, with environmental challenges, growing populations, uh, expectation for strict food safety uh, standards and sustainability practices, uh, data is um, almost always part of the solution uh, to these challenges. But data is often siloed. Uh, it's not easy to uh, access it. Uh, it doesn't circulate very well. And uh, therefore, uh, there's still of a lot of log value in, 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 in based on this situation. And therefore, I'm, I'm very pleased and delighted to have um, two gentlemen with me today who are Tack, who have tackled those challenges in, in an amazing way um, by creating data and services hubs uh, that uh, facilitate um, access to data and, and provide new ways uh, to distribute data to thousands and thousands of companies and, and organizations uh, in their respective uh, sector. Um, some of those companies are small, some are large, they will speak about that. Uh, some are private organizations, some are public organizations. So welcome, Sébastien uh, Picarda, CEO of uh, Data Hub. Welcome, Guillaume uh, Ardillon, COO of Numalim, both based in France. Um, both of you will have the opportunity, of course, to to introduce further Ag Data Hub and Numalim, your mission, activities, and the service you provide uh, within your industry. But before we, we start, let me just explain how we will organize our time. So uh, Sebastian and Guillaume will start with um, making um, each of them a short presentation, uh, um, talking about how they create benefits to the agriculture and agri-food eco ecosystems by facilitating data exchange. Uh, so we'll have some time after for uh, some Q&A and, and discussion between us. And I will close the session with some more, uh, some concluding uh, remarks, uh, sharing some insights uh, on the key capabilities data exchange platforms should have, uh, sharing some advice also, uh, and some best practice that would be helpful um, to, um, to those in the audience who would be considering uh, or currently launching data exchange or data marketplace initiative uh, within their, their organization. So without further ado, um, I will pass the, um, the floor to, um, to Sebastian. Welcome, Sebastian. Hello, Didier. Thank you for this introduction. I'm really happy to, to present you Agdata Hub. Agdata Hub is the, the French company uh, funded by the by a former organization and uh, supported by the French government in order to uh, organize data exchange in the farming industry. That's why we are we are going to, to speak for, for five minutes together in order to explain you how farming industry is organized, why data is really important for farmers 
how we can establish uh, trust environmental uh, before uh, data exchange with the consent and uh, why it is important for farmers to uh, increase their revenue uh, with the data. First of all, uh, the specific uh, one of uh, the specification in, in the farming industry is that data is everywhere, except in the farms. Uh, in Europe, you have more than 10 million farms all over Europe uh, in connection in their everyday life with 500,000 uh, partners like cooperatives, merchants, agro suppliers, uh, advisors, the public uh, with the uh, common agricultural policies, food industry, retailers, consumers, and now startup. And each of these partners have uh, a piece of information coming from the farms and the farmers want to have uh, the opportunity to gather all this data in order to have new uh, services uh, in order to manage these farms and in compliance with the common agricultural policies uh, in line with the customer's needs and uh, in order uh, to protect environmental. So the data right now in, in farming industry uh, are not interconnected. Sometimes it's difficult to access data, but it is important for, for farmers to develop use of the data. And you can see that uh, right now, the, the farms use lots of data and process lots of data with, with their partners. Uh, today, you can uh, use satellite image in order to simulate the uh, weight production. Uh, you can have uh, some uh, connected color for the co in order to, to manage milk production. Uh, it's important to, to have a great logistic uh, issue with the tractors in order to, uh, to sell uh, wheat or corn for the processing industry. And uh, you all know that uh, the, the robot and machinery uh, for farming industry is now autonomous. Before the autonomous car, you can see that the farming industry use autonomous tractors. And what is important to, to make this, all these new digital services work is to have uh, access to data. And that's why we, uh, the farmers organization in France, supported by the French government, organized the, the, the different uh, level in the data uh, sectors uh, apply for farming industry. You can see on the left, the, the production of the data coming from the tractors, from the IoT, or from farmers uh, management information systems. And on the left, the new services and the processing through uh, EI, for example. And in the middle, you, you, you need a data space. This is a, 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 new, uh, a new world uh, in order to uh, organize uh, the data market. Uh, in order to be sure that the farmers could give his consent before exchanging data, and the data can be used for uh, great, uh, really clear processing issues in order to make simulation about the use of the data, all that stuff. That's why we uh, organize with, with DAWEX, uh, our uh, data exchange platforms named API Agro, in order to put in relationships uh, farmers' data with the reusers of the data. And what is really important in, in data exchange, in, first of all, in order to, to develop trust uh, in data exchange, farmers need to uh, give his consent before using the data. And this is one of the, the most important uh, functionality from DAWEX technology to uh, implement by default the consent of the users of the data, which is also one of the new uh, regulation uh, into the Data Governance Act. Second point uh, through DAWEX technology 
is to uh, organize the exposure of the data. I mean, the owner of the data can choose if he expose data on open data to his private uh, partners or if he want to monetize data. And uh, on the other hand, the users of the data know where the data are, what are the using the, the use uh, allowed by the uh, data owners. And that's why we, we, we said uh, with DAOX that we are an orchestrators or data intermediaries uh, according to the Data Governance Act in order to develop a trust environmental in, in the data uh, farming industry. Uh, a specific zoom on the farm digital identity in line with the IDAS regulation. And uh, the second point is the consent of the farmers, which I already explained to you. In order to, to finish and to let uh, uh, Guillaume go on with the food chain, with the processing industry and retailers, why uh, data exchange and data space are in the middle of the uh, economy of the data uh, provided by uh, operators like us. First of all, the market is on European level. It's important to, to say that and to, to, to develop some interoperability between platforms. This is what we are doing with the Belgium and German uh, platform like AgriRouter, uh, which is one of our partners in Germany. And we develop uh, partnerships with Belgium platforms, Greek, Finnish, and Italian platforms uh, through GaiaX in order to develop data standardization and interoperability between platforms. This is a key point for us to develop uh, a really clear network of platform on the technological point of view with DAOX, but also with the uh, data standardization. Second point, is to be in, in line with the research project uh, uh, financed by, by Europe. And finally, uh, to develop an, or to provide really clear data set for artificial intelligence tools in order to help farmers to make simulation and uh, to help them to, uh, to calculate the, the impact of their production, for example, like the carbon credits or uh, other issue about biodiversity. So to finish and to conclude, we can say that data exchange is the hidden face of the iceberg, but it is one of the key points in order to, to develop a clear uh, economy of data. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Sebastian. Uh, very insightful. Uh, contribution uh, on the subject. And um, I'm passing the floor to Guillaume, who will uh, speak from the perspective of um, the food chain, the, uh, the food industry. Hi. Welcome, thank Guillaume. You. Welcome, Guillaume. Hello, thank you. Uh, thank you, Didier, and thank you, Sebastian, for uh, your intervention. So. I will present the, the end of the stream and of the food industry uh, because Numalim is at the earth of uh, trust and control of food data and I will focus on, uh, on food. Numalim, uh, first of all, is one and in the first uh, French uh, data and service cooperative, we are a cooperative company, uh, cooperative of collective interest. So we have uh, very important uh, uh, missions uh, to the, to be, we have very important missions for all the sector. And we have today about 50 uh, members, both organizations, or companies uh, representing all the food sector from farm to fork. Data is very important for this, uh, for this sector and together all these companies, all these organizations with the support of the public, uh, of public statements uh, strive today to, to answer to the need of data transparency that are today used in all the food sector, especially for applications, especially for product improvement, and especially for trust uh, and consumer trust. 
today, uh, Ubalim and the Numalim uh, as, a, as a great platform is uh, one of the answer and is the only answer that bring together producers, industry and the food industry, retailers and consumers. So when I said that the data is very, uh, very important, what it means for the, the food sector? Every producer, every uh, industry, every retailer, each of you as a consumer generates some data. Uh, these data are very important for uh, the whole sector and the, the whole sectors. And these uh, data are used today in applications and we need to manage that. Today, the data quality, the data exchange is not as matured as it can be and is as it is in other sectors. Uh, just for information, we have about 30% of data that are not at the good level of quality uh, of a data product uh, that are not at the good level of, of quality. For the product information, when we are talking about uh, origins, about uh, carbon, about uh, uh, environmental data, or about uh, uh, sustainability data, the, the quality of the data is not at this level. It's very uh, less and it's very, uh, very important for, for all this, uh, the user of the data. In France, we have uh, a lot of, uh, of chains because that are in France that uh, application like Yuka appears, uh, that are in French that score like the Nutri score appears. And uh, this score, these applications need and consume a lot of data that need to be exchanged uh, in all uh, the, uh, the company and in all the, between all companies and in the, uh, in the whole sector. That's why uh, Numalim developed three pillars of solutions. The first one is a data base called Universalim, uh, which is a data base plus some tools to manage quality of data. Uh, the second one is Ubalim, which is an exchange marketplace of data and services and data and services services are very important for the food uh, the food industry as 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 data and the last one is training session because we have uh, seen that french company french food company especially the smaller the smaller one are not as aware as a big one uh, about data importance and data uh, data usage Today, this uh, will focus on, uh, on Ubalim because it's uh, the topic of this, uh, of this meeting. And uh, I will uh, go through uh, just one or two slides for that. Uh, it's very important for, uh, for us. And it was what we, uh, we show when we built uh, this, uh, this solution is that Numalim uh, challenge is to structure and to accompany uh, the digitalization process of all the food industry company and to address some issues of volume of uh, reliability of the data that all the retailers, all the company uh, could uh, need and could, uh, could manage and could, uh, could exchange. When we talk about just to, to give you some figures, uh, the food sector in France, it is about 80, 80, 18,000 uh, companies uh, and a very, very, very large part of uh, them are very small companies. So it's not, uh, it's not only a topic or an issue for the main company to exchange uh, some data, it is a, uh, a claim and it is uh, an issue for all the data. And we need to have solutions that are accessible for a large number of, uh, of these food companies. And we need to be very inclusive in terms of, uh, of access. Beyond that, uh, what is very important also is to manage the traceability of data and of exchange because it's a value creation to have, uh, to have this kind of, uh, of information. And for all this kind of company uh, and for the smallest one, it's very it's disruptive practices for them and uh, for, all the, for all the sectors. I spoke with a large company uh, in the last few days and uh, it was for them also a very a very important and it was not natural to uh, to exchange uh, to exchange some data but everybody starting by the uh, by the consumer but 
for all the ecosystems uh, need to access to, to data and we need to, to liberate this uh, and to free this, uh, this data circulations. And just to, to conclude, to conclude, data exchange for us is uh, is very a key success and it's a key uh, key factor for the success for innovation and services. Um, it's very important because all these companies need to improve their uh, their product, need to improve uh, their their data sharing, and uh, need to uh, to improve the trust uh, for in their in their product trust for the consumer for their uh, and for their partner especially in uh, in the upstream and that's why we are speaking together with Sebastian because food and agriculture sector are very linked uh, for uh, for the data data circulations before being transforming into a product that we uh, are eating or we will eat it it is uh, it is a cow it is a chicken it is a wheat it is what you want but it it starts from the producer and it starts from the agricultural part. So why we start to, to make uh, this, uh, this data exchange platform with, uh, with DAWEX and for all the sector, for all the sector uh, when we started that, we show some uh, inputs that are very important and we show some benefits. And this, uh, the first benefits we show them today uh, in, the, in the sector. The first one is that this kind of platform um, uh, allow uh, aggregation, allow uh, reliability in of the systems and all your reliability in the data exchange. People are trusted to exchange data with each other to and to, to monetize, to valorize them uh, at, uh, at their own part. The second one is that for food industry, it's also uh, a new business for them. Uh, before that, food company exchange free their data uh, and uh, it, it was without uh, money uh, at, uh, at an outside with this with this kind of platform uh, we are able to support this kind of new business for them and to allow uh, this kind of uh, of digital new assets uh, that are that are data and at the end it stimulates innovation first and trust for, uh, for the final consumer for all this, uh, this company. I finished uh, with that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dion. Very insightful to amazing experience. You both have very practical hands-on. Uh, uh, and as we, as we move uh, forward, maybe I can um, ask you a couple of questions uh, and maybe open up a little conversation between us. Um, you mentioned um, those initiatives that you implemented uh, and uh, you both started uh, with, uh, I would say a, a group of uh, organization that were sharing the same visions that, con that constitute the core of the ecosystem that you, you were serving. Uh, but then there's a question of the growth. There's a question of growing a community of participants in a data exchange environment. And maybe you could both speak about a little bit about the, the challenge and the lessons learned and how you actually are, are doing in order to stimulate um, 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 organizations to join your um, uh, the environments and the platform that you are operating. So maybe uh, I can start with Sebastian, if you, if you want to, to share some, some insights some, some, and providing also some recommendation for those who might be uh, operating in other industries and uh, going through the same kind of processes. Sebastian? Yes, this is a feedback <laughs> <laughs> for, for, from uh, from the farming industry. I not I don't know if uh, it would be apply everywhere. First of all, you explained that governance is really important. I say that uh, Agdata was uh, co-financed by the farmers' uh, organization. Uh, this is really important to say that in Europe, specifically maybe in France, 
farmers organization want to uh, keep uh, control on their data because they know that data is really important for their industry, the you know, and all that stuff. And we are not against the, 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 the American or Chinese platforms, but we, we have not always the same vision uh, about it. Uh, second point is how to uh, increase the size of the market uh, on the data exchange platforms to develop relationship between users and owners uh, about data. Uh, at the end, uh, a company uh, which subscribe, uh, which took uh, subscription on our platforms, uh, it's a subscription about functionality, and we have we take no uh, percentage on the uh, on the flow, on the technical or uh, or financial flows, uh, because the the partners want that uh, the added value coming from the data transaction went directly to the data owners, and um, th that came to the third point. Uh, before uh, selling a subscription, we need to find a use case and a, a person or direct uh, or project leaders who want to manage this use case. First of all, it's not a problem of technology. It's a problem of people and vision around a use case. Don't think that data exchange will be enough. What is really important is do you, do you have a lot of data you want to expose and the data exchange is, is a way to uh, disseminate or to sell your data uh, to consumers and or users? This is one of the main uh, one uh, use case uh, category. The second use case is, okay, uh, I need uh, uh, various data, different family or categories of, of data, and I want to, to, to source data in one point. And this is on the data exchange platforms. And that's why it's important to, to know why we are on the data exchange platforms as a, uh, data owners or data users. And the, the last uh, position is ours because we are orchestrators. I mean, we, we are in, in charge of an ecosystem the farm, farming industry in France, uh, which could be uh, extending to other member states, member states in Europe, and we are orchestrators. I mean, we are a third party uh, to develop trust between users and our data owners. I think I, I explain how mm. to organize this market. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. And uh, you said something very important that uh, the challenges that may be faced are not necessarily generally not uh, tech, tech, technology or technical challenges, but there are other dimensions. And when talking about data exchange, there are multiple layers of non-technical uh, things that needs to be um, uh, addressed. Uh, and if I'm just... Uh, Thinking about what Guillaume was saying, um, talking about the more than 14,000 small organizations uh, that needs to be, um, um, that are part of this ecosystem. And the fact also that you said, I think uh, uh, Guillaume, uh, the, uh, that 30% of the data was not ready. It's, um, it makes me think uh, also about the fact that um, there's a need for, a new new type of, of job, I would say, which is data product marketing. If you think about marketing of any kind of product, um, you have the packaging, you have the, the pricing, the promotion, you have all the P's from, from the, the, the marketing equation. And that is something that is completely new in many situations. And you, you mentioned that uh, it was kind of the, the case in those ecosystems, in, but it's probably a, a very general observation that we may have. So that there, there is a, a great potential for uh, maturing on, on this. And uh, um, Guillaume, I'm, I'm just um, asking you maybe the same question of uh, I asked to um, 
uh, to Sebastian. Uh, can you share or do you have anything in, in mind that you would like to share about you know, the, the, the challenge and how you addressed it, especially when talking about growing the, uh, the community that you are uh, orchestrating? Um, so, um, as Sebastian said, uh, governance is very, very, very important. Data mm -hmm. for the food uh, food industry it, it is becoming an asset uh, as uh, as manufacturer as uh, as what you want, uh, and this asset uh, can be considered as a resource also that could be monetized. Uh, inside or outside the product. Before today, uh, every, every product came with the information. Data information is part of, uh, of the product and the data quality, the data you need to want, the additional service, the, the augmented product uh, to, 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 mm. to, to make a, a parallel with, uh, with augmented reality um, is part of, uh, of the product. We know and we are uh, very sure that uh, it's the beginning of the story and it's only the, the beginning. It will grow and it will, uh, and, and data will be part of the product and will be uh, also a product of, uh, of this company. And you say the DDA uh, company and food company probably in the, uh, in the next year will, uh, will try or will develop a new kind of, uh, of job uh, which could be a data product owner and not only a product owner uh, as today. That's why uh, to manage this kind of, uh, of community and to be sure to, to th that all the company, uh, especially the smallest one, be part of this movement, which is a, a very important movement. It's quite a revolution. Uh, we need to have a, a very important governance and with a, a lot of, uh, of support. Uh, today, our governance, and it was uh, at the heart of the, the product, it's at the DNA, uh, in the DNA of the product, is uh, that we could have the support of professional association, professional federation, and professional unions uh, that are part of the governance and that we that are able to, 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 to be sure, uh, that, that allow us to be sure that all uh, the, the issues raised by all the company will be taken into, uh, into account in, the, in our uh, reflections and in our work. Uh, the second part is that company by themselves should also be part of uh, this, com of this uh, governance. And some of them said, uh, I don't know every, anything about data. For me, it's, uh, I, I don't know what it means. I, I, I'm totally, uh, I, I'm totally lost in in this world, and uh, but I want to know. I know uh, it's uh, it's the future, and I, I want to uh, I want to be in. Uh, so that's why company participation is very important. Today we have about uh, fifty percent of uh, our society uh, sh sharing uh, holders that are uh, association federation and uh, the other uh, the other half uh, that are that are company. And uh, to, to, to answer to the, the market, uh, the data market as itself, data exchange uh, was between, uh, between companies uh, in one-to-one -one or in one-to-two uh, as, uh, as some, uh, some upstreams. And uh, it, it, today, it, it's, it's a reality for some data uh, and some, uh, and, and some companies. But uh, the market needs to change, and uh, we are at, uh, at, at the turn of this market. This market, the data market today, is very difficult uh, for in, in the food uh, in the food industry. All the business models uh, doesn't exist. Uh, our uh, business model is about subscription and fees on the data transaction, like uh, like for uh, Agdata Hub, as Sebastian said. And um, but, but it's not uh, in the uh, in the habits of uh, of the data company to monetize their data and to and to access to uh, to data. 
data that are not trends data or marketing data or consumption data. We need, and that's why we are supported also by the government, uh, we need to develop this ecosystem. And that's why we are, we are what are doing, uh, it's developing this, this ecosystem and not to, uh, to, to allow exchange uh, between uh, one company to another one, but between what company to many company, and to be sure that this product, uh, which are the, the, that are the data, are uh, a, a real product for, for this company. It is not a technological issue, it's a governance issue, it's a business issue. Today, technology are here. Uh, it needs only some, uh, some orchestrator as Numalim uh, to orchestrate the, the data exchange and uh, that's our role in this uh, in this business. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, for these comments uh, Guillaume and uh, you mentioned very important point like uh, moving from one to one relationship to many to many relationship between uh, in, in an ecosystem you raised the point of uh, data literacy and that still a number of people have to uh, uh, learn and improve the maturity, but this is a movement that is going forward. It's not going to go backward in any manner. So, and uh, um, it's great that you are there in, you know, making this uh, move forward. So I will actually uh, thank you, uh, Guillaume and, uh, and Sebastien for these insights. I will just uh, reshare my screen um, and, uh, uh, as a closing um, of this um, of this session, I'd like to take back uh, some of the points that you mentioned it and maybe pre present it uh, a little bit um, uh, more ge generic way, uh, looking at what a data exchange platform is and coming back to some of the key principles that you've uh, that you presented in a very practical way. Uh, let me just uh, look at it. Um, um, as a closing point, when we're talking about a, a data exchange platform, uh, what it is and what are the key benefits. So typically what both I uh, or you, uh, both of you are operating, orchestrating is an environment that is typically, uh, that is specific to your ecosystem. It's a custom branded, it's on your brand. It's fully configured to take some specifics of your ecosystem. It's a SaaS mode platform, and its goal is to distribute, to, to provide the, all the tools for distributing uh, data, uh, sourcing data, commercializing data, and for you as orchestrators to orchestrate uh, those data ecosystem. And you mentioned uh, governance is a key element. So it needs, uh, a platform needs to implement some strong data exchange governance models. It needs to be there as a support. Um, it needs to address, and we didn't mention the name open data or commercial data uh, specifically, but basically those two worlds have to, um, to live together. Um, there are open data, there are uh, data that are owned by uh, commercial entities or private organizations. They both have extremely uh, uh, important value when it comes to generating some, um, some insights so that, some, uh, that, can be, um, uh, that can be used for taking decisions. Um, and um, it needs also to, an environment like a data exchange and a platform needs to be able to address uh, all types of data exchange. So whether it's file-based, whether it's uh, API-based, whether it's uh, um, uh, real-time, whether it's uh, between um, startups and big corporations uh, in the private, in the public sectors on every different types of uh, uh, types of data. So that's very important also. And uh, it also has, and you mentioned it also uh, in your in your discussion, it, it needs to be monetized itself. So for ensuring financial sustainability of uh, a data exchange environment over uh, an ecosystem supported by uh, orchestrators like you, uh, you are, um, it needs to be able to be monetized itself. And when talking about building business model or revenue, revenue model, just to summarize, um, 
a participants to a data ec ecosystem um, is can obviously uh, make its data available free of charge. And you mentioned that was the situation, for example, in the food industry. Uh, but uh, it can still be there when it's there's a reason for that. But there must be a reason also for those data to be uh, to be commercialized and being able to generate some some revenue for the participants and for the orchestrator. Uh, again, there's an opportunity to manage um, uh, its own business model by either providing free access to their environment or charging access fee through subscription, as you mentioned, or uh, taking a percentage on transactions, on paid transactions on the, on, on the marketplace, on the data exchange. Uh, it can be a combination of that. It's important that a uh, an environment, a platform can support those types of, uh, um, of model. And just to look a little bit, and for those who don't know what a data exchange environment, what are the key capabilities that are supported, that are so important. Uh, and we mentioned it's not only a technical element, there's a number of elements there. The first thing is that it needs to be able to uh, um, put together the supply and the demand. That's really challenging. Uh, someone has data, doesn't know who might be interested by their data, if they're open to distribute it. Others are searching data, but they may not know uh, who might actually provide the, this external data for them. Uh, so the, a data exchange platform needs to be able to provide those different, uh, different capabilities. And there's a, a number of things there which are uh, extremely important. First of all, um, Registering and onboarding uh, on both sides is essential so that building a trusted environment and operating a, a trusted environment, trustworthy, uh, trustful environment requires that uh, the participants uh, um, know that uh, everybody has been vetted when they are, they are joining such platform. That's an element of trust. It must be able to package for the data providers uh, in different fashion, uh, their, their product offering. I was talking about the uh, uh, data product um, activities, management activities. It can be uh, uh, packaging data products as files, API, must address the, uh, the, the subject of compliance, must include the def de defining the terms of uses and the licenses for the data that can be attached. And also if there is any price tag attached to, to define the pricing. Needs also to be able to manage the visibility on the marketplace uh, is that uh, deciding who can see or not. Um, and on the uh, demand side, uh, it's, uh, it's actually uh, being able to search in different ways um, by just searching on a database, um, on a catalog, I would say rather, uh, or describing through alerts uh, what uh, they are typically looking for or the problem they want to solve so that the supply and the demand can be matched, for example, using uh, uh, algorithm and machine learning so that automatically and proactively it's possible to put the, the, the supply and demand together. Uh, it's providing tools for assessing uh, those offerings uh, and not only the data, but also the data providers uh, the, being able to assess uh, how, uh, um, uh, how secure uh, and doing some kind of due diligence about uh, who's actually providing some data. And then it's a question when parties find each other, it's a question of engaging and engaging means uh, um, starting discussing, negotiating, um, discussing about the, the, the use case, the terms, uh, the terms of use for the data, the pricing, if any, and uh, defining all the elements that can eventually lead to transactions uh, and payment. Uh, and from there, the ability to actually exchange um, the data which can happen in different ways. It can happen through a file exchange. It can happen through the, um, um, a data exchange platform. It can happen through uh, opening up APIs and providing access in a certain way 
to, with certain limits uh, to, to the data, it can also happen in a more distributed way outside of the platform. Uh, uh, in some cases, this might be um, um, a relevant way to, to do. And last but not least for the orchestrator, it's about a, a data exchange platform needs to be able to provide the orchestrator with a number of tools for managing its communities, that's a participant's management, for stimulating uh, the engagement between the parties. So it's a, a number of tools, just like I was mentioning, like uh, uh, supply and demand matching or doing some specific and targeted uh, communications to the, to the participants, um, uh, checking some quality of the description of the data uh, product that has been made and put, uh, making some recommendations, number of uh, activities like that, that can be supported by tools, um, monitoring activities and defining also those so important business model for the, um, for the, the defining the, the different plans and subscriptions, defining uh, the limits and the quotas that can be uh, used uh, in such or such plan, et cetera, et cetera. The idea behind this is that it must provide an orchestrator with a way to uh, industrialize and to scale his activity without having to put an army of people to manage it. Moving to the many-to-many -many, uh, relationship, as Guillaume was saying, uh, is something that requires obviously an environment to, uh, to, to manage this. And, um, to finish, um, I'd like to uh, mention something uh, that was already said, is that we've seen examples of environment and ecosystem that are being served, like the uh, food and like the agriculture, uh, and there will and there are today initiatives all around the world in different industries, in, in different ecosystems, and the future is obviously about uh, uh, connecting all these together so that all together they are constituting the, uh, the, the, the data economy that will end where with this interconnection there will be even more value creation and that will end up uh, this session again. Uh, uh, thank you very much um, Guillaume and, and uh, uh, Sebastian for joining us. And uh, please uh, enjoy the rest of your day uh, at the forum, I'm sure, with excellent session. Thank you.